The trailer for Peter Pan and Wendy is here. And when I tell you it doesn't... You know, it's been, I think it's, it's been a long time since I've seen the anime um, version, like hour and 21, an hour and 20 minute one. Um, whereas I think this is going to be, what, about two hours? They always like to extend the lore, the world, the type of film you're telling. But this feels more like a modern adaptation of Hook which obviously, yes, is an adaptation of Peter Pan, but it doesn't have, I don't know, it just felt very not Peter Pan-esque. You know, you, you've got Hook, you've got Peter, you've got Wendy, you've got Tinkerbell. Um, we already know people of the internet have had their opinions on people being different races in this. Um, Peter not being a white boy, Tinkerbell not being a white girl um, or woman girl woman uh the age gap between i mean I, I will agree on this one peter looks like a 12 year old child wendy looks like in a 17 18 19 year old girl maybe she is younger maybe she just looks older but i don't know there's something about it that it just doesn't that's a few things you know people have talked about you know jude law looks very weird as hook it just looks very weird I don't know. I it didn't look very Disney, you know. I, I when you watch Lion King, the live action one, it it just very. It looked like it. It played like it. It felt like the Lion King. You watch Aladdin, it did the same thing. Uh, Cinderella, whatever it may be, they've all felt very much, much like the anime. When you watch this, it just looks like a Disney-fied version of Hook. You know, it's not as Robin Williams-fied. Very, it was like, um, take it like Narnia or Pirates of the Caribbean. There was boats, and you know, obviously the Lost Boys are in it, or Lost Girls they've included now because they have to keep up with the trends, clearly, including girls in, in the Lost Boys group, which again doesn't make sense. It's the Lost Boys. Um, I, I don't think, um, Shmi. Uh, Shmi? Shmi. I don't think Shmi was in the trailer. I didn't recognize him. Uh, it just for me, this is probably one of the most underwhelming looks to a Peter to to a Disney live action one. I'm always excited for these. I think the only one I haven't watched is Lady and the Tramp. Um, <laughs> it looked it looked it, it, it just didn't get sell it as much to me. Just like this, this just looked way too. It looks like a different thing altogether you know i mean yeah i said you do have the kids you do have the iconic thing where they're on big ben and they're in the pajamas and they go to neverland you have all the typical things it just doesn't it just didn't really sit well with me the trailer i don't know what it was and don't get me wrong i, I don't care about the gender switch gender switch um uh the racial uh racial switch uh i always say i mean what what I'd say is, if you're the right actor or actress or person for the role, then great. It's like, is it Haley Haley Berry Bailey, whatever her name is, who's playing uh, Ariel? Look, she has an amazing voice. She um, she obviously doesn't like the typical Ariel that we know from the anime, but she looks like she'll play the role fine. So until I've seen the film, I won't judge her on. I'll judge her on her acting ability or how she plays Ariel. Uh, it'll be the same with this, you know. People always take to the internet, and I, you know, to some extent, they're changing. They, they are changing a lot of racial actors, you know, um, actors for race. Sorry, uh, but at the end of the day, we haven't seen the film. If they're good characters, if they're good actors, if they can play the role fine, then that's it. I'm more concerned about the fact it just looks. This film looks stupid. <laughs> it just, it just didn't do it for me, and I don't know what it is. I, I, I can't fully put my thing on it. I, I'm probably going to have a great time watching this film. It just felt very all over the place, messy, a bit different, a bit childish at times, but then very dark. It was a very weird blend. That's all I'm going to say. This is probably one of those films. I'm glad it's on Disney Plus because I would not go and watch this in cinema. Um, and this is the thing. People have big opinions about Lion King and Aladdin. I actually think they're very good. Lion King is a terrific live action remake. Uh, or adaptation. Aladdin is very good as well. Oh, it's, it's good. It's enjoyable. Um, you know, Christopher Robin ones, those are really good. I just don't know what I feel about this one. It just felt very weird and different. And um yeah, I'm definitely gonna give it a go. I think it's out in April, 
back end of April, so what a couple of months. No, it's out next month. Uh, yeah. You guys can let me know down below in the comments your thoughts. I, I, I yeah, I just don't really know what to think. It looks unique and it doesn't look as bright and lively and Disney fight. It just feels like another company's coming and made it. That's what I would say at best. But again, end of the day, as long as it's got heart, emotion, and doesn't bore the hell out of me, then I'll be all for it. So that's what reviews are for. That's what trailers are for. But this is the first trailer where I've just not cared or had a proper feeling to it. Uh, but yeah, that's that. You guys can let me down below in the comments. Um, I'll be reviewing Peter Pan and Wendy next month. And of course, I'm going to watch the live action, the, the animated version before this, so I can go into this and be like, how bad is it really? Or is it better than the anime? That's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm not going to watch in Hook. I'll watch Hook at some point. Maybe I'll watch it the same week. But um, again, we'll have to wait and see for that. Thanks for watching as always. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And of course, let them down below if you're excited for Peter Pan and Wendy dropping on Disney Plus in April. Until next time, goodbye.